everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today I'm just going to give you a brief update on how I'm doing. It's been a little while since my last update and I told you I would let you know how everything was going with the Midadrine, so here it is. I actually had to stop taking the Midadrine after a full week being on the drug. I was trying to give it the full two weeks, but with the side effect I was experiencing, I just didn't think that I could do it and after speaking with my doctor he said to go ahead and come off of the midadrine. And what I was experiencing was severe anxiety and panic and it just was not fun. I already have an underlying anxiety disorder so I don't know if that plays into whether you're going to feel more anxiety while taking this drug. You can read on the side effects and the labels of the medication and it is listed under one of the more rare side effects. So I'm not telling you this to scare you off trying Midadrine. It could be an awesome, amazing drug for you. It's just in my case, I could not tolerate the level of anxiety that I was experiencing personally. And so it just wasn't worth it to continue even though I was feeling benefits from the drug. Like similarly to the Fludrocortisone, I think it just enhanced the benefits of that. I was not as lightheaded. I could stand up without much thought or wondering, oh, am I going to feel woozy? I would just get up and it was, you know, it was great not feeling lightheaded as much. My heart rate wouldn't get as high as often and just being able to get more done around the house. So there were awesome benefits, I'm telling you. It's definitely worth a shot if your doctor has prescribed it for you. It's just I couldn't get past that um, terrible anxiety that I was getting and it just was not worth it for me since I am on the fludrocortisone and seeing similar benefits with just fludrocortisone I feel that that's just the best course for me right now so that's where I stand I'm on the fludrocortisone still just one milligram my doctor talked to me and said that I could take even two milligrams of it but I don't really feel that it's necessary, but if I do in the future, I will do that. And yeah, I'm doing okay, all things considered. It's not linear ever. Every day is something different. And some days you feel like you can do more, other days you feel like you can hardly stand up. So that's kind of where I am right now. And I just wanted to give you this little update because I told you I would. So again, this video is not to discourage you from taking Midadrine. It is a wonderful drug for a lot of people. And again, I did experience benefit from it, just it wasn't worth it for me with the side effects. So I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Please reach out to me if you want more advice or you wanna talk about your condition or anything like that. I hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video, bye.